So one shape is great, but we don't want just one shape. We want it to be able to draw lots of shapes. And so we need a way to keep track of those shapes. And one of the more convenient ways to keep track of those shapes is with an array list, because it will expand uh, to um, be as large as you need it to be. And so we're actually going to create uh, an array list of shape objects, which is a class of objects that encompasses both squares and circles. So a shape, ob uh, an array list of shape call shapes called shapes, and um, we're going to do some stuff with it. So we're going to go down here and we're going to uh, initialize that. So shapes equals new array list shape. And then we want to do a couple things. Every time the mouse is dragged, we want to add a new shape based on the based on the position uh, to our array list. And so we go down and we find mouse motion listener, and we're going to actually change this. So uh, we're going to get draw x again equals e dot get x. Oops, not to get y. E dot get x and draw y equals e dot get y and then we want to um, shapes dot add we want to add a new ellipse 2d dot double at draw x draw y and we're just gonna for right now leave it at 2020 and now we also have to change the draw method. So instead of just drawing the single shape, g2.fill, uh, draw x and draw y, we want to loop through our array list for int i equals zero, i is less than uh, shapes.size i plus plus. We are going to draw each of those shapes. So uh, g2. Dot fill shapes we want to get the shape that get and we want to get I and let's run this I think I did everything correctly so I think this actually should work at this point so if now we nope it's not working quite yet what did I do incorrectly here uh, shapes that get I shapes Anytime the mouse is dragged, shapes. Oh, we need to repaint it right here. So panel two. Dot repaint. Every time a shape is added, we want to repaint our project. And uh, let's see if this works. Yep. Yeah. All of a sudden, you can draw lots of different shapes, and you should be able to change the color. So, but you notice that when you change the color and start drawing again, it changes all of the uh, shapes color to that color, and that's going to be the thing we fix in the next video.